To start setting up the Husqvarna Viking Opal 650, go ahead and pull out your power cord and foot control and plug them in on the side of the machine. I always recommend that you put your sewing machines, especially the computerized ones, on a surge protector. It's just gonna really make things a lot easier should you have any issues with power. And of course, we never know when we have issues. So definitely um, invest in a surge protector and plug your sewing machines in when you do that. The on switch is right there by your power cord. We'll go ahead and turn it on and we'll get started with winding a bobbin and setting up our machine. Now this machine is brand new, so there's actually a little tape on it. If your dealer has opened it up for you, this will probably be removed. We've got some information on the needle threader underneath the foot and a little styrofoam down here. Your accessory box comes empty. So as we open this, we can put our accessories in here. Remember that um, buttonhole foot comes loose in that box, so go ahead and make sure you don't lose that. Everything else comes sealed in a bag. Go ahead and open this up and we'll get a bobbin out. We'll also go through in a separate video all the accessories and what you get with the machine. But for right now, we'll just take out a bobbin. I'm gonna put this on the back of the machine. That's gonna help with the work surface, give you a little bit more extra space as you go. The machine will come with thread on it, so if you wanna go ahead and put your own thread, go ahead and snip this, and then pull it straight out the needle. We'll talk about that later too, but when you can remove thread by pulling it straight out the machine instead of backwards, it keeps the machine a lot cleaner, especially after you start sewing with some of the various lenty fabrics that can drag up in through your machine. Now the Husqvarna Viking bobbins are specific for the machine, but one thing nice that you'll notice is they have an H on them. You always look for this H when you wind a bobbin and when you drop it into the machine, you'll always have it in the machine correctly. Okay, so there is gonna be a bobbin in the machine when you get it. It's got a nice full white bobbin, but we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Now, since this spool is a little bit smaller, I like to use the smaller spool cap that comes with the machine. That way, it doesn't restrict the flow of the thread as it comes off of it. So for winding the bobbin, we can go ahead and follow the path around the top silver arm and underneath the pretensioner. Now the key to the pretensioner is that you actually snap it in to the little holder. If it's just loosely around there, what's going to happen is when it winds a bobbin, it'll be very loose on the bobbin. So if you go ahead and I'm going to do it where we just put the bobbin on the machine and then up through the little guide and then wrap it around clockwise oh, five or six times, and then push the bobbin over to the stopper. You can also take the thread and thread it up through the little hole from the inside out and hold on to that thread while you start to sew. So as we wind, we'll just go ahead and fill up a nice full bobbin. You know, quality thread makes such a difference, especially now that you have a wonderful precision machine. So definitely take in mind, you know, if you've got older thread that's been passed down from, say, grandma's machine, maybe skip that. Your, the thread quality has come so far these days, and it really will make a difference when you wind the um, use it in your machine. You know, 50% of your seam is thread, so let's put a quality thread in there. It will stop spinning or get a little slower as it becomes full, and then you can slide it back, and there's a little thread cutter right here on the top side. So just bring it around and cut the thread. Once again, if you follow the H as we drop it in, and we'll do a, a close-up video on inserting your bobbin. But for right now, I just wanna kinda get us set up and threaded. So when we're done, the pretensioner is only used for winding a bobbin. So make sure you undo that part, and then we'll start threading from the beginning. Over the silver arm, around, and then do make sure your presser foot is up when you um, thread the machine. That way the tension discs are open and every part of the machine is getting properly threaded. There's also a needle threader on this machine, and we'll show you once again with a separate video how to use the needle threader. Isn't that wonderful how easy that is? Now for sewing, we do not have to bring our bobbin thread up to sew. We can just put down the presser foot and start sewing. And I'm gonna just make sure everything sounds good, and it does. And then when we're done, we can lift up the presser foot, 
pull our thread out, and on the left side of the machine, there is a cutter. You can go from front to back or back to front, whichever is easiest for you. And then we have a perfect seam, and now we'll get into the buttons, the screen, and everything that you can do with this machine.